You mentioned uh, team culture, and I was curious. You talk about how you enforce, you're the enforcer for team culture. So does, who does the defining of that? And are you the only enforcer? Does the team also enforce? So uh, one of the subjects that I think affects people the most nowadays compared to maybe other times in volleyball history is, is team culture. Um, and I think pro every program's team culture is a little bit different. The, the challenges don't necessarily change that much like in a decade or in an era or the millennials or whatever. It, I think they have a little bit to do with our general culture and what's expected. My feeling as a coach right now is what kids want in culture, in team culture, is they want boundaries more than they would lead, lead us to believe. That um, it, I'm smart, I'm worldly, I'm, I'm looking at the world, I get it in my face every day. Um, and yet on my teams, I think what they want is for me to say, okay, we want it to be this way and this is how we're gonna get it and we're gonna have to train leaders to help us. We're gonna have to educate the people on the team of why we want it that way. And if there is a person that you would say is um, responsible, it would be me because I'm the head coach. And so whether it's the buck stops there or whatever it is, there have to be more layers than that. It's if somebody's late in our program, there is no reason why, although they can tell us and we'll understand, <clears throat> There is, okay, you're late and we're not late. And so you should have already gone to our strength coach and asked her when you're gonna do your 30 minute extra workout because there should be some aversion to having this happen. And so you could probably make up a list of 10 or 15 or 20 small things that you would not want to have be prevalent in your program. And the team should want to enforce that. And if they don't, you're going to have a culture problem anyway, because the boundaries should be there. I think they want them to be there more than they're willing to tell us, but it's extremely important. I don't think I knew much about team culture when I started coaching, and my life as a coach has taught me that I needed to know more and more and more. The good thing is, is you can go on the internet and find lots of advice and lots of information about how to do it. And I think it's crucial 